Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. The topic today is love and hate. Um, on the psychic plane this morning I was talking to a spiritual teacher and his daughter about uh, whether we should be sweet and soft-hearted to people who hate us. And I, he and his daughter have a very live-and-let-live live attitude towards things. And they have a way of turning people around from hatred to neutrality with regard to them, which is admirable. Uh, I don't have that ability. So uh, what I try to do is I try to stay away from people whose samskaras lead them in the direction of hatred because if I associate with them then then their hatred seems to overflow into my own energy field and injure my heart and I try to associate with people who are either neutral towards me or who like me. Sometimes light workers for instance are too sensitive to, to do other than that. Um, we, we can't remain neutral or positive towards other people if we're associating with hate groups. I know in the past I associated with some groups which were spiritual and which required adulation of the teacher. The teacher on the other hand was, was disdainful of the students and cruel to them and so forth. And at the time I had not learned uh, how important it is to balance the heart chakra and to exchange loving people for being loved by people and for loving myself and caring for my own heart. You know what I mean? There needs to be a balance there, I feel. In other words, I contradict the theory that one must crucify oneself in order to live on earth and be a spiritual teacher. I contradict it completely. Okay, so what what had happened for me was that for a few years someone had hacked into my online address book with Microsoft and had been issuing, someone who hated me, had been issuing uh, global emails of a low sort to do with the lust and hatred and desire for domination of other people, desire to murder those desire to steal, awful things like that. And they'd been somehow disseminating through global emails these, these issues to all the people on my address book with the notion that they could turn them to the dark and create in them the same samskaras that they had. And I would say that it, that effort of theirs succeeded in alienating all the people I had ever known from me. I just found out about it and I've deleted my online contact list, all of the address book, and since last night everything has stopped. All the hate campaign, the hate club, the hate group stuff. So if you're running into that kind of thing, you're a light worker and you're being inundated with a vibe of hatred, uh, you might remove your address book from online and see if that helps. You see if there are other loopholes in the modern system of virtual communication that are causing this. Uh, in fact, I think that the mall incident in Los Angeles last week where a thousand students rioted in a mall to the east of here may have had to do with that, with the virtual email groups and a gathering of hatred-oriented people together. Um, we have to be very careful what we what we do on the internet because every little thing can attract hatred and uh, we need to attract love. You know, in years past um, I I was told by one of my spiritual teachers to use this this essence uh, it's called Fragonia. It's a flower essence and it's supposed to open up the heart. And I remember in those years in the last solar cycle when I was 
very heart energy was just flowing forward all the time. It had partly to do with those cults that I tried out that turned out very badly for me because, you know, I need to be loved in addition to loving, in addition to selfless service. I need also to receive love or at least to give myself love. It's only sold one place online. Uh, so if you wanted to try out flowing out love, you could, you could try this essence. And remove your address before online if necessary. Then there's also to look at your Facebook friends. Are they oriented towards hatred or criticism? Do they leap upon one person and make them a scapegoat? Okay, so that's a type of friends to avoid, I feel. It's so much easier to be inundated by negative emotions if we live a virtual existence, don't you think? Yeah, so because here on my street, here in my house, there's nothing but quietness and happiness. You know, but when I go to the internet, there's a lot of turmoil online. Yeah. Recently, I tried to put some of my images on, on Wikimedia Commons, which is an organization I've donated tiny amounts of money to over the years because I think they're doing great work. And uh, the person that looked at them was uh, extremely negative towards them, really cruel to me, and extremely insulting, and took all 50 images offline and told me, that they were about to delete my account forever and may have done so from, from uh, Wikimedia Commons, despite the fact that my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com, is a Creative Commons website. And that Creative Commons license has to do with Wikimedia Commons, so uh, you know, if I spoke a word, they, they told me they would remove my name forever from Wikimedia Commons. And that's, that's another, like, form of diss or hatred that's being become very popular on the Internet. And I've noticed that. And there are many people on Wikimedia Commons doing that, and most likely on many social sites, spending their time spewing forth hatred on other people. Um, so, you know, maybe this is the answer, I hope. Fergonia would be a good answer if, in fact, it works. But part of it has to do with self-esteem and not wanting to be around people who are mean to us and cruel to us, don't you think? So, just for my own sake, I beg to differ. Uh, I do think it's good to develop the ability to work our way through the negativity of other people and to, to arrive at a peaceful resolution. And I don't think there are many people more capable of that than this spiritual teacher and his daughter this morning. I learn from them all the time, you know, how, how I ought to be. <laughs> but I'm not there right now. So for my own sake, I feel, especially when people are trying to murder me or to, to rob me, you know, to steal from me or to hurt me like throw me to the ground or to pretend that, you know, that I'm a, a lewd woman by putting other people's naked images on the internet, those kinds of things, which I'm sure you probably have been subjected to, too. Um, I think it's important to, to back off and to protect ourselves, and if we have to, even to go to the police department in our town or to victims' rights like that. That's what I think. Stand up for ourselves. Be our own selves. And so, no doubt I'll have comments from my readers to the contrary. Okay? But I be believe in self-preservation and in doing what we can for the common good. And in loving all that we can in this, in this world during the ascension process, which is currently in quite a bit of turmoil. Okay, everybody. God bless you all and keep you safe. Let me know how you feel today. In love, light, and joy, this is Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. See you next time.